Hello Colors and welcome back to Viva Barca. Welcome to the home of everything Barcelona where we are going to be discussing on some interesting updates. We start with La Liga president Javier Tebas who have issued a stern warning to Barcelona claiming that the Livas won't help next year. We are going to be discussing on that as we move ahead. Then secondly, talking about midfielder Pablo Gavi, who recently talked about Lionel Messi, midfield idols and joining Barcelona in a recent interview he made. So guys, before getting right into the stories, please do ensure to subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch right up to the very end. Speaking at a public appearance, La Liga president Javier Tebas has once again sent a warning to Barcelona claiming that they will need to reduce their wage bills significantly before next season starts. The Blaugrana have had an inflated salary bill thanks to the enormous contracts that previous administration under Bartomeu handed out to players. It has left the club crippled financially even forcing them to part ways with the greatest ever player, Messi, last year. Why the same issues cropped up again this past summer, Barca circumnavigated those with the help of economic levers. The sale of a percentage of the club's TV rights and Barca Studios. Why that may have aided the club a lot in terms of making new signings, you know, and registering them without breaching La Liga's salary cap rules, they could find themselves in trouble next year and the levers will be of no help, according to Tebas. This came about when the La Liga president was asked about the impact that Barcelona's potential drop from the UEFA Champions League to the Europa League might have to finances. He said, if they fall in the Champions League, they will have less income, but he will stop paying bonuses. That will not change much, Debas said, as quoted by Mundo Deportivo. He continued by saying, The economic levers have served them for this season, but not for the next year. You know, they have to reduce their salary mass. They cannot work with more than 500 million euros. Because if not, next season, you know, we will meet the one quarter rule for them again, according to Debas. Barcelona Vice President Edward Romeo recently outlined the club's intentions to reduce the wage bill, which is currently at around 656 million euros to 500 million euros by 2024. The permanent transfer of Antoine Griezmann to Atletico Madrid means that Barcelona will free up a significant chunk of their salary mass next season. The potential departures of some of the highest earning players in the squad like Sergio Busquets and Gerard Piquet next summer could help the club in that regard. But it must be remembered that the latter's contract still has 18 months left, while Barca also owe him a large sum of money in deferred wage payments, which could make his exit difficult to achieve. From all indications, next summer is going to be complicated a lot for Barca compared to the other summers, especially as it seems as though the financial structure of the team is not still stable. And you can see the president of La Liga himself saying it blatantly that nothing like economic levers again next summer. Because we quite remember the the previous summer, Barcelona relied a lot on you know, activating economic levers, selling some of your key assets just to ensure that we can finance the, 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 the purchase of some key players to strengthen the team, which was so important, which made the transfer very successful for us. Um, from the way things are, even things just made worse again by the fact that Barca will be relegating to the Europa League. You know, our finances will be hit so hard again. Even if we go to win that Europa League, according to reports, Barca cannot still revive the money that they were supposed to make had it been the cross to the group stage of the competition. And that tells you how Champions League is highly valued. Um, of course, um, Tebas have always been a, a talkaholic. Let me put it that way, a talkaholic against Barcelona. In every interview, he's been there talking about La Liga teams. So it's not even a surprise to me that he's saying this even with passion, that there's no way we can go in a successful summer next season because those levers will not be possible, according to the, the La Liga president. So let's see. Of course, we still have activities that we must do, you know, 
before next season starts you know like the dm role as even though we have frankie young who for me i think he can still play so well even though he's a dm with a difference but barca want to go for another dm because sergio busquets will likely leave the club as his contract is set to expire so let's see how it's going to look like for barcelona you know when it comes to strengthening the team because next summer according to the la liga supremo it's going to be so complicated when it comes to strengthening the squad because of their weight structure which is not still the the limit that la liga wants you know laporta is still working on that because the target is to ensure that you know we have that wage limit of total one 500 million euros because right now it is 656 million which according to the legal laws will not be enough then on to the next story of discussion in an interview with france football barcelona young star gavi admitted that the former black Granada midfielder andres iniesta and current sevilla main man isco are the two players he idolized while growing up my idols iniesta and isco said the midfielder in a lengthy interview with the aforementioned outfit, the 18-year-old talked about several aspects of his young career, including why he chose Barca over La Liga teams back in 2015. But first, he explained why everyone calls him Gavi. He said, people think it's because of my full name, Pablo Martinez Perez Gavira. But that's not true. With my first team, we were two players with the name Pablo. And in order to avoid a similarity, the coach called me Gavi. Before joining the Barca B in 2015, Gavi represented Real Betis youth team, youth system, where he spent two seasons during the tenure. The midfielder reportedly scored a whopping 95 goals. The first time I left Betis to join Barca was 2015. I was little apprehensive because I didn't know what was waiting for me here, but my parents reassured me. They accompanied me because I was 10 to 11 years old. We lived in an apartment in Rambla. We went on to ex he went on to explain that the reason to join Barcelona was that he always supported the club. Why did I prefer Barca over Real, Atletico or Villarreal? It's the club I've always supported. I've been dreaming of playing for, for, for the team since my childhood. In September 2020, Gavi was promoted from the under-16 team to the under-19 team. Directly speaking about it, he said, The first time I went on to an older, uh, a team older than me, with Barca B against Espanyol 2020, it was my first time I jumped so big in my career. Even though I didn't play, I will remember that match because we won it. In August 20, uh, 2021, Gavi made his senior team debut against Getafe and he went on to talk about it. He decided to thank the former manager, Ronald Koeman, under whom he played in his first game. He said, My first game in the league in front of Getafe, Koeman gave me the opportunity that day and I will always be grateful to him for what he taught me. Two months after playing his in his first game for Barcelona, Gavi made his national team debut against Italy. Of course, the first time I felt pressured at San Siro because before facing Italy in the Nations League semi-finals, I was very nervous and my legs were shaking, but as soon as the match started, I felt comfortable. Despite being just 18, Gavi is known for his ruthless aggression and why he admitted that he sometimes exaggerates a little bit. On the field, he always respects his opponent. He said, it is true that sometimes I exaggerate a little bit in my in interventions, but I try to be at, as competitive and always respect my competitor. Lastly, the 18-year-old also said that missing out on the plane with Messi has been disheartening. Have you had time to play with Messi? Unfortunately not. I, was not, I, was, I wasn't so lucky to meet him. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.